Hello, it's Georgie from Georgie at Home. This is the first video in the new Pocket File of Facts Along series and um, I'm going to be talking about how to use um, a Pocket File of Facts and all the different uses for Pocket File of Facts. Now, just quick, we're in my kitchen. Sorry about that. And sorry if I hope the lighting and the sound and everything's okay. And I'm not whispering too much. I've had to um, tuck away in here um, because it's actually uh, Sunday evening. So this video will be going up first thing tomorrow. Um, so not that I've left it to the last minute, but um, it's been pretty crazy. Um, and I've been doing so much research um, on pocket file faxes, which is meant um, Quite a bit of time spent on YouTube, probably a bit too much. Um, so yeah, I have been doing a little bit of research. I've got my trusty file facts, my regular one, so <laughs> that I've been writing my notes into. Um, and so there's two two things. So first thing is I I got this file facts because I wanted to try out a pocket. Now, there may be so many of you out there that were probably like me. I mean, I'm really lucky because this was really, really so cheap. One day, probably on the last of this series, I will tell you how much they cost me. Um, but a lot of you, I mean, I would love to have like a pocket Molden or a pocket Holborn or something like that. But I just can't afford one. And and they're the, obviously the lower end of the scale of um, Filofax organisers. So I know for many of you, they may be the only the only file effects that's within your reach is a pocket size. So I, in all of my uh, YouTube research research, um, looking at how people use their pockets, um, all of them pretty much all of them are wallets and I actually got a little bit worse like, oh yours is a wallet and yours is a wallet and oh and yours is a wallet now in the UK I know most of you are in the States so you call them wallets and we call them purses and we put them in handbags not our purses and um, I don't know I think it it's been a bit of a British thing I don't think we have big purses I don't know maybe that's just me mine's really tiny I probably should have um showed you actually but I have like my purse with my with my money and, and and my main debit card and then I have another separate thing that holds all of my store cards and um and discount cards and, and things like that um so yeah I was looking at all of the different uses for pocket and I've written a little list so I'm just going to reel some of them off to you so it, it doesn't come with much it comes with the A to Z um, things I don't know what other uh, pockets come with because I just haven't really looked to be honest um, but it just comes with the A to Z and I thought okay well it could be it could be just an address book just a plain address book and a date book maybe for birthdays and anniversaries and things um, and then I got a little bit more creative in uh, what we what we could organise in them. Um, you could use it as a wedding planner, I guess. Um, you um, could use it just as a notebook, just as a pure notebook, just to write notes in, notes on anything, ideas or doodles or sketches or whatever you just write in a general notebook. Um, you could use it as a home management I guess a home management binder I know mine was mine was quite big when I used one I don't use one anymore because it's one here um, a recipe binder I thought it was such a cute idea to have um, you know like you could have it kind of that way so you open it up um, and have little recipe cards in there I thought that would be really cute and I would definitely do that with this except I was bought um, a recipe card holder binder thing for um, Christmas a couple of years ago so I don't really need one uh, and there's the wallet now one of the ideas I had in addition to the wallet was just a store card organizer so you can get the little not not these ones um, 
but you can get the ones that hold like a few cards and you could just fill it with those like have no none of this in there and you could just fill them fill it with the prop with the those credit card holders and just have it full of store cards and credit cards if you wanted to I thought that was a pretty cool idea um, you can have it as a health planner um, to plan your your fitness or just your food and your diet like a tracker planner um, or a, a homeschool planner that was this was inspired by this as well um, in here there are some oh, I don't know where it was here we go a course record notes um, now I don't have any particular higher education so I don't know really how you I don't know I guess tracking marks on essays or I don't know that I thought you could you could plan like you could have your whole homeschool um, curriculum in there um, you could um, you could have it as like a spiritual um, planner organizer I'm not particularly religious at all I'm not religious at all um, but I do um, study my horoscope um, quite closely I follow that quite closely um, and I know there's people out there who do Bible study and things maybe that could work in there I don't know because I don't do it but that's a possibility um, a swatch planner I have recently dipped my toe into uh, the divine world of fountain pens and uh, looking at all the inks and stuff like that and I really like um, all of the different colour inks you can get for fountain pens and people um, kind of keep swatches so they know all the colour inks and stuff they've got and I just thought if you had little cards of, of swatches of the inks for fountain pens that's I, I would definitely do that that's definitely something I'm considering doing in the future so that's another option um, you could have it just as um, shopping lists or wish lists and um, perhaps you could divide them up as um, you know, things for your family uh, maybe if you've got quite a few children you could have different lists just you know for buying things for your children purely for that because also I thought because it's quite small you could hide it from your children that's probably quite useful I know as a child I was terrible for trying to find stuff out um, oh something's falling down um, you can have it as a Christmas planner I'm actually going to turn uh, one of my personals into a Christmas planner but there's absolutely no reason why you can fit it into a pocket so that's an option inventories maybe you could um, you know inventories of things you keep in boxes in your attic or your basement or that cupboard that no one ever wants to open up I've got one of those um, a closet inventory I don't I don't know inventories freezer inventories food inventories pantries all things like that um, a journal a pure journal just for writing just a writing journal or an art journal um, I'm not into art journaling necessarily myself but there is absolutely no reason you could not put snippets of art. ATCs actually, you could in fact you could even collect ATCs in the little um in the credit card holders. That would be such a cool idea. I like that idea. I've got quite a few ATCs myself. Um and goal planning, you could use it as a goal planner. Um I know I could certainly fill that with my goals easily. Um, and then a fully functioning file fax. So many comments. I had so many comments on. Oh, there's loads of file pocket file fax videos, but no one uses those as um, like a full planner. And the, I, I, the one person that sticks in my mind um, in the YouTube world is, and I don't want to get this wrong, the Glosset. Pretty sure. I'll I'll check and link it. Um, but she has. I think she has more than one it from what I could gather but um, I didn't watch all of her videos because she's got quite a few but her pocket was really 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 cool and she's been really creative and and got loads of good ideas um, but whatever you do with a pocket it's made to keep you organized so there's there's no doubt in that so with the pockets um, that I've given away maybe some of you um, 
I know some of you have never had a planner, and for, for a few of you this is your first file effects, which is really, really, really exciting, and I can't wait to see what you do. But um, I just wanted to do a little bit on um, deciding, like if you're still undecided about, let's say, like me, you've got your A5, or you've got you've got your personal web, you've got a planner, it doesn't even have to be a file effects, it could be whatever, daytime or whatever, um, and you've got your pocket, and you're like me, trying to decide, which is exactly what I'm still trying to do. I still don't know necessarily what. I think I'm going to try and see how we can make it work as a fully functioning planner because the glossette is the only one um, I've seen. So I'll probably do that. So I've been looking at what sections I'm going to put, I'm going to obviously do some dividers. I'm going to try and work out what sections I wanted in there. Um, and I've noticed on a lot of you in the States have um, like your monthly and your weekly, um, which didn't really make much sense to me uh, at first, but I'm coming round to the idea and that's definitely something I'm going to do in this. I'm going to have a month monthly pages and I'm going to have your weekly, you know, your week to views and things. Um, and and so I was trying to decide what sections so that I could decide how many dividers I wanted. Um, I know so many people don't like to kind of have six, but then have two of them not doing anything, if that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't particularly bother me because um, I like to evolve and I like to grow within whatever I'm doing, so I like the space to move around and it's quite good to have um, a little extra bit. I, I like I like the growing space. Um, so yeah, I've been decide deciding on what sections to have. So if you are about to buy a pocket, you've just got a pocket, and um, you're just moving into one, or you're waiting for your uh, pocket petal to arrive, you could also start thinking about the sections you want to have, what, what, how many dividers you need. And then, so I think what I'm going to do in the next video is um, show you how to. I'm going to do. do Let's do one thing at a time. So the next video will be how to make your own dividers because this one in particular only comes with the A to Z. Um, so I am going to show you how to make your own because that's something I definitely need to do in here. Um, so moving into this, I mean, I only took I took this little piece of plastic off that covers holds the pages together. I um, hold on. It always goes cold. I can never keep my tea warm. And I was just flicking through and kind of looking how what I want to do when I move in and getting a feel for it because I haven't really played with it at all. Um, so first of all, I just want to take this piece off. This just uh, oh, I think I have to rip it off. Just stops the rings rubbing on the on the inside. Um, so that it's crisp when you get it. There are some lots on there. So that's that off. And then you have the first um, fly sheet, which has just got a little barcode on there. So that's coming straight off. And it does peel off really easily. I had a little girl in the corner. Having said that, it's probably going to rip. So let's just peel that off. Ooh. There we go. So that's the first fly leaf. Now I already decided I've got some of this like um, acetate um, in my stash that's a little bit thicker because this is quite flimsy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, another one with the acetate I've got that's got print on it. Um, hope th hope that it goes with this and put this inside. Um, and then this, I really liked this because, purely because, it goes with with the fire effects, it matches, but it's really, really thin, really thin. So what I'm going to do is laminate that, that's going to be the inside, pardon me, my tea, that's going to be my first um, dashboard, that's going to be the first page. Um, and I'm going to have the diary pages. Now, I was just having a bit of a play. Well, this is the only play. I say I haven't played. This is the only thing I did was I just whited out the dates because this is a 2012-2013. So it's got the end of 2012 and then all of last year. 
which is why I got it so so cheap. So what I did was I just wanted to see because I've done this in my other personal size is I just whited out the dates. Now this is a bilingual calendar so it's got like four languages, five languages um, and I don't, it takes up space and it's too messy and actually I can only really read two maybe three languages um, and I wasn't really interested in learning the days of the week in any other languages at this point in my life so I got rid of it and also there is so much there's all of this paper that, that can be recycled into a new and useful new and useful things um, so I whited out and I thought you know we could just really write the dates on and that's a really good I was going to have it for the video just a little tape white tape marker thing I don't know the names of stuff I just thingy bob thingamajig so I did that and then I was thinking um, is it enough space and I know you can get two days per page and then I was umming and ahhing I'm still umming and ahhing about that um, if you haven't been over to the Filofaxi uh, web site, do go and do that. There's quite a few um, different ones on there that, and I've been looking about. Um, I know the Glossette who I mentioned has been using Lime Tree Fruits um, ones. who don't actually come in this size, but she discovered a way to, to resize them into this size, um, which seemed to be working for her really nicely and it looked really good. Um, even though her pages and she'd even managed to decorate them so I guess it really does depend on how much you want to fit in um, so yeah I'm still I mean, going over that so really I just wanted to quickly show you that really and show you what's inside and I think I did show you in the very first one of this but um, the A to Z and then a few bits of note paper and we are definitely at some point we're definitely sorting this out I do not like this pen holder. It's so stiff, so so stiff, and I, and I don't like it. I'm going to repurpose it into something else, and we'll we'll do another video on that. Um. So really, there's homework in the style of Anna. We've got homework, and that is um to think about the sections you want. Um, and also, so once you've just kind of decided um, what sections you want, maybe um, find some paper or cardstock um, that you want to use for those. That would be really good. Um, now, my recommendation would be um, you've got you've got two options. If you're going to laminate them, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, whether you choose paper or card um, because it's going to stiffen up with paper anyway if you laminate it if you decide to do that um, I don't know how overly textured paper laminates so maybe keep that in mind um, but certainly texture would be really good if it's something rigid that you are um, not going to laminate that would be really nice to have some texture um, mine are quite shiny um, but I will show you how to laminate them also. I'll show you how to laminate um, dividers or in, if not, just, just laminate the actual tabs themselves. I will probably, because this is another thing I gave some thought to, will show you how to make dividers with top tabs as well as dividers with the side tabs. So I will go through that for you. So I will cover dividers and laminating in the next video so yeah just think about um, the set, how many sections you want and what uh, papers cards or scrapbooking stuff that you've got in your stash or if you want to go and buy something um, especially that's ideal um, so yeah that's it really really good start to the series I have so many of you have been excited I'm really really excited to be doing it and it's and it's a I don't know, it's, it feels a bit weird kind of starting the series and not really doing anything and just talking a bit. Um, but really, it, you have to give it some thought. And um, I, I just, you know, I just thought 
that's the best thing really would be to just have a little bit of a chat about it before we before we really tuck in and, and it would give gives me some some thought about um, what we're going to do but also um, I really really wanted this to kind of be our series and do it together so I really want to have your input I really want to I really ask questions and tell me things and tell me about your pockets and and uh, what you're doing with them or what you want to do with them and and um, yeah really be a part of it because that's that's why I wanted to give my boxes away was because I wanted people to get involved, not just with my series, but um, I really wanted people to to have a go in the Filofax world and come and be organised and and um, have fun with it. Have fun because as well, I've kind of stopped decorating. Just as just an on a last note, I've not not I haven't stopped decorating, but it's really quite practical and and um, I've really I'm trying to be creative. Like my to do, I do like a monthly to do list. And it's just stuff. It's just a list. So I got a little bit creative with my next month's one. And I really tried... To, I've stuck a sticky note on already. I've really tried to make March a little bit pretty. And and it's not even because I need the visual stimulation to look in here. Because I'm looking in here all the time. Um, but I don't know. I like washi and I, like, I am creative. So I was trying to make a real effort to make it pretty and and having watched the glossette on her videos her pocket final fact is so cute for something so small and, and it just it obviously it fits her so well um so yeah i'm gonna make it pretty so i think um that's it that's covered everything please please leave your comments below i really 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 have enjoyed um your input so far so some more please would be really really really, really good um yeah that's it so yeah that's it and uh we're gonna do this every monday every monday and um, so we'll see you next week bye